Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to learn how to make this gorgeous layered floral heart. Come with me to the craft table and we'll get started. Isn't this heart just so lovely? This one is made with seven layers of cardstock and it's all high quality cardstock, which is super important for projects like this that involve such intricate cuts. I layered the hearts for a more three-dimensional look using foam tape and cut everything out with my Cricut cutting machine using a green machine mat and these basic tools. You can get the full list of the exact supplies and tools used for this project below this video. So let's get started so I can show you how to make your own beautiful heart and spread the love. Step one, get my free floral heart file. To find it, go to jennifermaker.com 470 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the designs by searching the page for number 470 and then click it to download the zip file. Step two, prepare your floral heart design. You could cut this project by hand with the PDF files, although that will take a very steady and patient hand. It is faster and more precise to use a cutting machine with the SVG or DXF files I provided. To see exactly how I prepared this file in Cricut Design Space, see my video over at jennifermaker.com 470. Step three, assemble the floral heart. The floral heart design consists of seven layers. Gather your cut pieces and foam adhesive. You could also use craft glue if you wish your complete floral heart to be less dimensional and more flat. But the steps will be the same. Just substitute glue when I say foam adhesive. Stack the layers in the correct order from bottom up. The solid piece will be the bottom layer, and each layer up will have more cuts. The top layer will be the most intricately cut piece. In our case, that's the white layer. To make sure the layers are correctly ordered, remove the top layer and look inside the center of the sunflower. You will be able to see all six layers all moving in toward the center. Isn't this cool? Replace the top layer. Now you have seven layers all stacked and ready to adhere to each other. Flip the stack over so you can see the solid back. To adhere the layers to each other, we'll flip over one layer at a time. Start by placing the solid back layer directly on the table and right side up. Now place the foam adhesive squares on the back of the sixth layer. Then flip layer six right side up and press on top of layer seven. Look straight down into the stack to align the edges of the layers. If you look at it from an angle, it's much more difficult to line them up correctly. Continue with each layer in the same manner, always adding the adhesive to the back of the next layer up. And then add adhesive to the back of layer five. Flip and place layer five on top of layer six. Repeat this process for the remaining layers. Now for layer one, you will find it necessary to cut the adhesive foam square using a craft knife and a cutting mat or craft scissors to make very thin strips so the foam adhesive does not show. When you're done, flip, align, and place layer one on top of layer two. The floral heart is now complete and ready to add to your frame or display. I placed my floral heart inside a shadow box, so I used the same adhesive foam squares and added them to the back of the heart. It's a good idea to be really generous with the adhesive to make sure the heart doesn't slide around inside the frame after it hangs there for a while. Adhere the floral heart to the frame backer and place it inside the frame. And this is what my finished floral heart looks like when it's all framed. Isn't it pretty? The floral heart is great for displaying and can make a wonderful gift. Now, if you have any questions about how to make this heart, please let me know. Leave your question below this video or come ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.